You want me to do what? Look, I hate to ask you to fight my battles for me, son, but I have no other choice. Will you do it? I can see that you really need my help, Dad. I just don't think I can do it. It seems so wrong. Look, I know it goes against everything I've taught you, Bobby, but I know you can do it. <sighs> there he is, Bobby. Now go over there and do exactly like I showed you. I can do this. I can do this. Holy sm What's going on? Snap, crackle, pop, pops! Bobby, what are you doing? Hey, hey, but th that's a good way to hurt someone. Please, stop doing that. A tisket, a tasket, there goes your basket! Hey! Cut that out, Bobby. Keep away! <laughs> Hello, Jim and Lila. What brings you here? Your son is out of control. Yep, Bobby's got a lot of spirit, all right. Spirit? He spread trash all over our yard and viciously attacked Jim. Well, he must really like you a lot. He's got a funny way of showing it. <laughs> well, if I were you, I'd just learn to ignore it, because once Bobby decides he likes you, he's never going to stop. If you're trying to compare Bobby to our Caleb, you're way off base. Bobby is, is just a troublemaker. Caleb has a precocious sense of adventure. He's expressive. He goes to the gifted magnet school. Well, good for him. But I wouldn't sell Bobby short. I think he's about to express himself right now. What you got in the squirt gun, son? That's for me to know and Jim and Lila to find out. You folks want to find out? Or do you want to tell Caleb to stop riding his bike on my lawn? <laughs> Caleb, please don't ride your bike on Mr. Hill's lawn. You mean dusty old bones? Dusty old bones full of green dust. Dusty old bones full of green dust. I mean it, son. Get off the grass. 